removing the thorn. So I want to tell you a little story or analogy, and I'm going to do the best I can that I heard in two different books that I've read. One from Michael Singer's Untethered Soul, which is a great book. And then the other one from Personality Isn't Permanent by Benjamin Hardy. In fact, I recommend both of those books. So there's this young, vibrant, beautiful girl who gets a big, gnarly thorn in her arm. So instead of just taking the thorn out and dealing with the agonizing pain, she decides to leave it in. But because she left it in, uh, well, number one, she can't sleep well anymore because the unconscious movement in her bed uh, causes the thorn to get hit and it causes her pain. So then she formulates this huge kind of contraption to protect her arm while she's sleeping so the thorn doesn't get nudged and that just affects her sleep uh, even more. She was also very, very social. She loved going out, hanging out with her friends, going out for dinner. But in those circumstances, that thorn had a tendency to get hit as well. So because of that and because of the pain, she limited her social interactions as well. She was also a great, great athlete. Uh, and she would play all sorts of sports, whether, you know, she was a great athlete in high school and college. But again, uh, when you're playing sports, you're going to bump into people, uh, you're going to rustle, ruffle and tumble, and that thorn would get hurt, got hit, and it would cause her more agonizing pain. And lastly, she was a beautiful, vibrant woman, like I said, and she loved to dress nicely. But form-fitting clothes, nice t-shirts, nice dresses also agitated and aggravated that thorn uh, so she couldn't dress as nicely as she used to as well and i think you see where i'm going with this all this young lady had to do was take that thorn out and deal with that short-term agonizing pain but instead decided to leave it in and have a lifetime of pain and agony so the question i have for you is what thorns in your life you need to remove you don't have to share them just think about it hope you like my story check those books out and as always be awesome and never unawesome bye